everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour. Since I'm going to be back in school, like, literally next week, I want to show you guys all the books that I own before I take some to school. So, let's get started. The first shelf I have are my fantasy, some of my fa fantasy books, and I have some items on my shelf, so I would talk about my items on my shelf first. First item on my shelf is my Chip Zoom Zooms. I've been collecting Disney Zoom Zooms for a couple of years and I decided to put Chip next to my Belle Fungal Pop because he's so cute and I think it would make sense to put him right next to Belle. The second items on my shelf are the Kingdom Hearts cards that my boyfriend got me because they have some of my favorite Disney characters in the game. So we have Tinkerbell, and Neverland, which is one of the worlds that they go to, and Peter Pan himself, and I have Belle, and the Beast. And I decided to keep all of them and stuff separate just because I think it means more to me to keep them all together. The, second, the third item on my Shelf is um, a Lucky's Zoom Zoom. He's from 101 Dalmatians collection. I don't have all of them, but I know I'm going to get some more soon. The next item on my shelf is my Belle Fungo Pop figure in, in her yellow dress. I decided to put her on, on my top shelf and so I would put it on from one of the Beauty and Beast books that I have, and I just She's my favorite, one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. She's technically my favorite Disney princess of all time. So I love to display her on my shelf. The next item on my shelf is this little cup that I got from Disney's Epcot and it has Belle on it. I was hoping they have Tinkerbell on it, but I decided to get this one because they have my favorite secret, second favorite Disney character, which is Belle. The other Zoom Zoom that I have on my shelf, which is Lee from Lee and the Tramp, I just decided to put her on my shelf, even though she's not from a she's not a fantasy character. I just decided to put her on on a shelf because she's so cute, just like Lucky. The next item on my shelf, I got this little statue of Tinkerbell. I had this statue since I was six years old. It came with um like a Dairy Queen birthday cake or something, I don't remember, but I just love to display her on my shelf because she's like my number one favorite Disney character of all time, and I just decided to display her on my shelf. The next one I have, the next Disney Zoom Zoom that I have on my shelf, which is Rue from Winnie the Pooh. I just think he's so cute that I display it on my shelf. The next item I have on my shelf is this um, glass swan statue that I have. My grandma gave this to me. I asked her if I could have it, and she said I could. So I decided, and swans are my favorite birds, and I just decided to display this on my shelf because I think it makes sense that, like, because of the ugly duckling, it, it was ugly, but it becomes beautiful when it gets older. The next item I have on my shelf, it's this magnet that says, Who doesn't love a good book? I know it's like a magnet, I should put this on my refrigerator, but I decided to display this on my shelf because I think the owl is so cute with a open books. So, it's like, it's just really cute to me because I, I, cause I, I also love the quote because it reminds me of me, so I decided to display this on my shelf. The next Disney Zoom Zoom I have on my shelf, which is Minnie Mouse. I just, she's just so cute, especially with her little bow there. And I just, like I said with the other Zoom Zooms, I decided to display on my shelf. The next shelf I have, or the next thing on my shelf is this um, button pin that my sister gave to me. And one of my birthday cards that says, I'm the sister of someone who's talented, charming, and delightful. Even though I haven't wore this yet, but I decided to display this on my shelf because it just... I want something that represents my sister on my shelf. The next three items I have on the three 
Disney Zoom Zooms I have on my shelf. I'm just too lazy to take them down. I have Jafar in his genie form, Corel Deville, and the Queen of Hearts. I decided to put it in front of the Lord of the Rings because I think it's kind of funny to put them there so it looks like they're going to be going after the One Rain. Long May, May She Reigns by Ren and Thomas. Ever the Haunted by Aaron Samaro. Being the Bees, Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. A Wizard of Mercy by Ursula K. Le Guin. And then I have the Everland series, starting with Everland and Umberland by Wendy Spinelli. The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. Atlantia by Ali Condi. And then I have the Firelight Trilogy starting with Firelight, Vanish, and Hidden by Sophie Jordan. Spindle Fire by Lexa Heiler. Being the Beast novelization by Elizabeth Ronick. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And I have The Lord of the Rings, starring with The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and Return to the, the Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. So my second shelf is more fantasies, and and I have some items on my book on this shelf as well, so I'm going to tell you about those two. So the first deck here of Zoom Zooms that I have, I have um, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy from Frontierland. Since I got the, I actually got those at Disney World. I don't normally get my Zoom Zooms from like either a Hot Topic or the Disney Store. These were only available at Disney World since they're from from Frontierland. So I decided to get them. The next item I have on my shelf is my Tinkerbell Fungal Pop figure, and like I mentioned before, she's my number one favorite Disney character of all time. I just thought she's so cute with her magic wand and, and her hair and everything, so I just decided to display her on my shelf. The next item, I have another Fungal Pop on my shelf, which is the Beast Fungal Pop figure from the live action movie of being a beast. I just think he's really cute even though he's supposed to look scary but he's been always been my Disney prince since I loved being a beast and I just know that she he accepts he actually wanted to show about that he can be not as scary as he seems. So I put him on my bookshelf. The next item I have on my shelf is this little snow leopard statue that I have. Like, I got this from the zoo a few years ago. I just think it's so cute that um, I wanted it so bad that I would display on one well, of my bookshelves. And snow leopards are like my favorite big cats in the world. The next item I have on my shelf is this little dolphin statue. Dolphins are my favorite animals of all time. I just love having it on my shelf. The next stack of Zoom Zooms that I have, I have Tinkerbell, Peter Pan, Wendy, Nana, and the Crocodile. I just decided to display them all together because that Peter Pan is my favorite Disney movie of all time. And I'm and I have Captain Hook and Mr. Smee. I just decided not to stack those two with them. I just want to stick with the good guys and I am I am like three missing from the Peter Pan Zoom Zoom collection. I'm missing John, Michael, and Tiger Lily. And for, first off I have the first um, Everlife duology and starting with First Life. And lastly Lifeblood by Gina Showalter. 
A Curse as Dark as Gold by Elizabeth C. Bonds. Mary Poppins by P.L. Travers. This is the complete Mary Poppins books, her series. So first off, I have a Storm Sirens trilogy. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but I'm calling it for now. Starting with Storm Siren. Siren's Fury. And Siren's Song by Mary Weber. Next, I have the Graceling Realm series, starting with the Great Graceling and Fire by Christian Cashore. Next, I have the Trial Trilogy, starting with Switched, Torn, Ascend by Amanda Hawking, Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Roche. Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The Snow Queen by C.J. Redwine. Next I have the Wills of Mercy Fall series starring with Shiver. Linger. Forever. And Sinner by Maggie Steve Otter. Bell's Library by Brittany Rubenino. And I have the Chronicles of Narnia series, starring with The Magician's Nephew, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, The Horse and His Boy, Prince Caspian. The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle by C.S. Lewis. So my third shelf is all my other fantasies. I have like one more shelf to go that has all my fantasy books. This stack of Zoom Zooms right here, I have Black Panther, Thor, Spider-Man, and War Machine. I decided to stack those together since they're all the Marvel characters. The next thing I know I have on my shelf is a Rugia Fungo Pop doll from the anime show called Bleach. I decided to put her in front of the Mortal Instruments series because in the show they fight demons and I just thought it would be a good idea for me to put them in front of those books. The next Fungo Pop figure I have on this shelf is my Dumbo Fungo Pop figure because I think he's so cute in a fungal pop form and since he is my sister's favorite Disney character I decided that I would want another thing that has that is something that reminds me of my sister. The next fungal pop, not fungal pops, um, Zim Zims I have on my shelf which is Hawkeye, Iron Man, Black Widow, Falcon, Captain America, and the Hulk. I decided to put those together on top of those books because since they're part of the Avengers team I just decided to put those together. I know I should have put Thor, Black Panther, Spider-Man, and War Machine with them but I don't want to make it too much of a big stack of the Marvel Zoom Zoom so I decided to just stack those six. The last Marvel Zoom Zooms that I have on my shelf is the She-Hulk and I just decided to put all the Marvel Zoom Zooms on the shelf because they're Marvel characters. I just want some of the Marvel characters together. The first book I have on the shelf is on the Arnold Devices trilogy, starring with Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. The next series I have on my shelf is the Mortal Instruments series, starring with City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. 
and I have the Mortal Instruments um, City of Bones Shell Hunter's Guide. I don't know who the author is. Next, I have the Immortals series, starting with Evermore, Blue Moon, Shadowland, Dark Flame, Nightstar, and Everlasting by Alison Noel. Radiance by Alison Noel. Next, I have the Percy Jackson and Olympian series, starring with The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of, La of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan. My fourth shelf here is um, more fantasy. I know you guys are probably tired of hear me saying that these are my fantasy books. This is almost all all the fantasy books I have. The first series on my fourth shelf is the Heroes of Olympus series starring with The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and lastly, The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Next, I have The King Chronicles, starring with The Red Pyramid and The Thorn of Fire by Rick Riordan. Next, I have The Twilight Saga, starring with Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. I also have the Twilight Saga, the official illustrated guide by Stephanie Meyer. The Grey Mansion by Michael Lee. The Beast Within by Serena Valentino. Splintered by H.G. Howard. Entwined by Heather Dixon. Hunted by Megan Spooner, which I'm currently reading right now. Next I have the Spell duology or series, I don't know, starring with Spelled and Wanted by Betsy Stow. The Book Jumper by Mitchell Glacier. The Forbidden Wish by Jess Jessica Corey. So on my last sh shelf, on my first book shelf, I have one fantasy book, and I have the contemporaries and some nonfiction books. Carnival by Stephanie Garber. Someday, someday, maybe by Lauren Graham. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Thirteen Reasons Why by. Jay Asher. I know I have two copies. One is the regular version. One is the 10th anniversary edition. Written in Stars by Aisha Saeed. By Your Side by Casey West. Next I have the If I Say Stay duology starting with If I Stay. And Where She Went by Nate Gil Gail Foreman. Next, I have the 13 Little Blue Envelopes duology, starting with 13 Little Blue Envelopes. The Last Little and the Last Little Blue Envelopes envelope by Maureen Johnson. Everything, Everything by Nicolai Yoon. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertelli. I See London and I, I See France by Sarah Malinowski. Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Sapia. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallar, Valero. Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kemier. 
Gigarella by Ashley Poston. Next, I have the Princess Diaries series, starting with the Princess Diaries. Princess in the Spotlight, which I'm currently reading right now. Princess in Love. Princess in Waiting. Princess in Pink. And Princess in Train by May Cuppet. Mary Poppins, She Wrote, The Life of P.L. Travers by Valerie Lawson. The Hidden Magic of Walt Disney World by Susan Vaness. Select Poems by Robert Frost. Night by Ellie Wiesel. Writing Tools by Rory Peter Clark. Hey everyone, it's Future Joran here. You guys are probably confused by the title of my video bookshelf tour part one. I decided to split into two videos because uh, that's probably why I it's, I have computer problems because of it. So I'm splitting my video into two. So I am going to let, I'm going to release both of them, but it's going to be part one and two. So stay tuned for part two of my bookshelf tour and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.